Hi and welcome to our flying adventures. It's all about the journey. Here's a quick uh, GPS how-to that someone had asked me about on my YouTube channel. Again, I'm not a CFI, I'm not a CFII, and I didn't sleep at a Holiday Inn. These are just things that I practice myself to try and keep sharp or to teach myself some new stuff. And I thought I would share it in case somebody ran into the same issue or had a question. Makes for good discussion. All right, we're gonna go with a very basic flight plan, something I already had entered, and that's from KOXB Ocean City, Maryland to Gulf Echo Delta, which is Delaware Coastal, 23 miles. So this is gonna happen uh, probably a little bit quicker than I would like. All right, I already hit uh, execute. So let's go to the map and you can see we are on our way to GED. Let's go turn up the speed just a little bit here. Okay, we're on our way to Delaware Coastal, Georgetown, Gulf Echo Delta. And as we're making this flight, instrument conditions, ATC tells us there's an issue at uh, Delaware Coastal. We really want to get there. Uh, so they're going to put us in a hold. But they don't want to put us in a very easy to do hold off one of the approach plates for f runway 4 or 22. They want to put us in a hold 10 miles south on the 180 radial for Waterloo, Alpha Tango Romeo. All right, well, how do we go about doing this? Well, first thing we need to do is get pointed towards Waterloo. Go to nearest. Let's go to the VOR. We're going to Waterloo, right? There it is. Let's go direct. It already fills it in. Direct. Okay. As you can see, present position, direct Waterloo. But if you go back and look at our flight plan, it's still there, unchanged. This will come in handy later. Let's go back to the map. All right, we're chugging along, so we need to make that hold. So we're going to go to user, new. We'll use the first thing that comes up so we don't have to rattle through all these. Pound, uniform, triple zero one. Got to remember that. Let's scroll through it. It's a lot faster with a real button. We're going to scroll down until we get the change with a question mark. Yes, we want to change it. And our reference point, ah, not going to let me do it. Our reference point is going to be Waterloo. Let's go ATR. Oh, let's remember your alphabet. All right, there's Waterloo. So we want to hit enter. We want that to be saved. Okay, now we want, what did I say, 10 miles? There we go. 10 miles. Let's get rid of that point four. Three, two, one, zero. And we said on the 180, ooh, that's pretty good, 180 radial. Okay, that's where we want this user point to be. So let's go enter. All right, go back to the map. Let's check our location. All right, we're still heading to Waterloo. There's Georgetown, right here, GED. We're going to go direct, hold, but we don't want it at Waterloo. There we go. There you go. Pound, uniform, triple zero one. We're going to hold there. At the one. Okay, 
We're gonna fly direct to pound uniform, triple zero one. We're gonna hold with the right turns, 180 degree. Heading, one minute outbound. So that works. Let's go and hit enter. Okay, we're still going to Waterloo in that general direction. You'll see, present position, direct. Now we're going to that point in space, 10 miles on the 180 degree heading. There's Waterloo, right at the top, can barely see it. Here we are, 10 miles on the 180 degree radial. There's our point. Okay, so let's go do a lap in the hold. Okay, as you can see, we're about a minute out. We're doing 180 knots here. We're headed to that point in space that we created, that user pound uniform 0001 or pound user 0001. We're gonna go out just a little bit. Here's the point. See my cursor. There's Waterloo. So we're at 10, um, 10 miles on the 180 degree radial. That's where we're gonna hold. All right, let's go back to map view one. All right, here we go. Present position is about 1.7 miles from our user waypoint, which is 10 miles on a 180 degree radial. It's calling for a parallel entry to the hold, which is correct because we said the 180 degree radio. We'll do a lap in the hold. It's great to make the rules as you fly along here with the sim. You control the universe and the weather and can do anything you want. You're ATC and pilot. <laughs> it's a great day. All right, we'll pick up inbound to our user waypoint. Okay, we're still in our parallel turn. We're clipping along at 200 knots here. Just love the increase in speed. All right, conditions look like they're getting worse. So let's play with this a little bit while we're in the hold. Let's go to procedure, approach. We could do the GPS. Two to approach. Okay, so we're gonna select vectors to final on the RNAV GPS two two. Once you select that, make sure you hit that Vectors to Final button. Okay, I have no way of controlling uh, the navigation here at this point on this simulator. But there's Umble, the final approach fix. So we're going to get vector background. And there's the Waterloo VOR. And you can see we we're holding south of that about 10 miles. So he'll get us vectored over to where we need to be and then we can land. Overall, uh, it's not too hard to do. I had the one instance back there where I said I could have selected nearest. I didn't think of it at the time, but I am gonna go back out and try and see if that works. If it does, that even speeds the process. All right, good luck with uh, creating a random point. It's somewhere in space. Any questions, comments, please leave them down below, and thanks for watching. Hopefully, we'll get some more of this GPS how-to stuff out just so I can teach myself and other people can either laugh or learn from it. Thanks.